Do horses have milk? If yes, then I would say horse milk. Hi everyone, welcome back to ICE. Today we're going to learn about the beautiful country, Kazakhstan. And we have Najid from Jordan. And today we are so privileged to have Adele from Kazakhstan to explain and introduce the country to us. It's very nice to meet you. I'm really happy and honored to be here as well. And today we're going to play a little trivia about Kazakhstan. And I'll test your knowledge. Shall we begin? Round one. Where does Kazakhstan rank in size? Option A, 43rd. Option B, 20th, option C, 9th, and option D, 11th. <laughs> okay, why don't uh, you, Saturnia, start by explaining yourself? So I've heard that Kazakhstan is one of the largest landlocked country. Uh, it's just big. So now the answer is C, 9th. <laughs> Kazakhstan is actually the largest <laughs> landlocked country in the world. Fun fact, we're located in both Europe and Asia. Next question, how many time zones? can be found in Kazakhstan. One, two, three, and option D, more than four. Okay, so that is like Russia, but shrunk, basically, you know? Maybe two is safer, but I'm, I'm still gonna go with like, three. It crosses two different continents, and I think it's big, but not super big. So there are two time zones, the East Kazakhstan time, which is plus six hours, and then the West Kazakhstan time, which is oh. plus five. So next question, how many ethnicities can be found in Kazakhstan? Uh, less than 50? Around 80, 100, or more than 120? Oh. <laughs> Panicky. I know people there speak quite a lot of languages, and a lot of people live there. Every ethnicity in Central Asia is there in Kazakhstan, I believe, but I don't mm -hmm. think it's mm -hmm. more than 50. So the answer is D. In fact, there are at least 130 ethnicities. <laughs> so next question. Uh, how many official languages does Kazakhstan have? One, two, three, more than four. Since it was ruled by Soviet Union before, mm -hmm. I'm guessing Russian is one of them, and also Kazakh. I met one girl from Kazakhstan yesterday by coincidence. <coughs> and then I think what I heard, if it's not wrong, that Kazakh is the only official language in the constitution. There are two official languages, oh. Russian and Kazakh. Final question. What is the name of our capital? Almaty, Astana, Nur Sultan, Karaganda. Mm. Astana is the capital, but its name now is Nur Sultan. <laughs> um, that was just a wild guess. The right answer is C, Nur uh -huh. Sultan. Before it used to be Almaty. Round, Round two. two. Kazakhstan has the tallest what in the world? Chimney, transmission tower, cotton factory, and option D, water tower. I already said B. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go for B. So. Kazakhstan has the space t the, 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 that takes some rockets to the space and is like operated by the Russians. The only thing you can do is have a tall, tall transmission tower. I was thinking about the weather because it's mm -hmm. so cold, so it wouldn't be the water. There's also no need for a tall chimney, and I don't think people make cotton in cold places. Um, so the right answer is chimney. Chimney. So it's a power station. It was okay. built in 1987. Next question. How cold can it get during winter? Two degrees, negative five degrees, negative 20 degrees, or negative 50 degrees? I was just thinking if it's negative 50 degrees, it would be somewhere Santa Claus live. So I wouldn't go too extreme. I know this is true in Siberia in Russia, and I think Kazakhstan has the northern border shared with Siberia. So the answer is negative 50 degrees. So wait, hold on. So actually my father lived in Croatia because they, they were poor students, they would basically freeze their food outside they would cook, cook their food and put it outside the window to make mm. it fr freeze you know yeah we do that we you do that oh, also yeah. yeah next question what fruit originated in kazakhstan <laughs> a pear b apple c grapefruit and d plum it's something like this uh, even though i think kazakhstan has a lot of apples in some parts but uh, wild apples that is <laughs> i know that um back in those days in china people used to say that grapefruit is Exotic coming from other countries. Apples did originate in Kazakhstan. <laughs> the city I'm from, it's called Almaty, mm -hmm. and in Kazakh, Alma is apple. Next question How many elements from the periodic table can be found in Kazakhstan? Less than 20, 50, 70, 90 plus. It's a country with a lot of natural materials, and I think 70 would be a reasonable number. I feel like 70 is actually a bit too much, but it's Kazakhstan, so it's not too risky. The answer is 90 plus. And now we have a bonus <clears throat> round. You have 10 minutes 
to learn and choreograph a 30 second traditional dance. <laughs> Let's get started! Okay. <laughs> to the next round. Why is Lake Balhash considered unique? It has to do with its consistency. Uh, it is very pure and then you can see the fish. So you said that there is a huge temperature difference and I think the consistency oh. with that it never ice. The answer that I was looking for is half of it is salty and half of it is fresh. Next question. Name two other sources of milk besides cow milk that are popular in Kazakhstan. So I'm always thinking about the weather and when it gets really hot, I guess that there will be camel, so camel milk. And then when it gets really cold, there's sheep. Do horses have milk? If Yes, then I'll <laughs> say horse milk. And the other one? Sheep. <laughs> camel and horse. Oh, 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 the camel. Oh my god. Oh. Saturnia, where's your dinner? So guys, our ice team have actually tried horse milk before, so make sure that you click this button up here and watch the video. Are we going to the next question? We, we could talk more about milk, but okay, let's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next question. Name three most common ingredients from different categories in Kazakh cuisine. I think, of course, horse meat, and then potatoes, because it reminds me of like Russian cuisine, and I think there is definitely s some influence. How about I go with buckwheat as the f third one? I think it would be the fermented horse milk, mm -hmm. and I think for uh, cold countries, they eat a lot of potatoes, and we talked about apple before. If you cut it up and then you fr freeze it, mm -hmm. then you can make like apple crumbles, and then there can be like dessert, <laughs> and also like juice and sauces. So, from my own personal upbringing, any sort of milk, and then meat. Horse meat is very popular, and I'd say it's... Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's not necessarily bread, but we have a lot of dishes that are made from like flour. It's like savory pastry. The final question is, what do people usually do when they're invited over to somebody's house? I feel like this is a very Kazakh or post-Soviet thing. <laughs> so your answer is... It would be really cold, so you would um, take their jacket and put it over a heater. <laughs> I hope that's not offensive and uh, never be on time. <laughs> I don't want to say anything bad about, you know, our people, but me and my friends, you invite somebody for 6 p.m. and they show up like 7 p.m. Nobody will get mad. <laughs> but hold on, we're actually missing one thing. You kind of said it, but you said it's not the thing. Usually when you go over to a guest house, you bring some sort of sweets or a kind of gesture. <laughs> Okay, so that was it. Thank you so much for playing and participating. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for teaching so much about your cuisine, your culture, and nature. We've learned so much. Make sure you check out our fermented horse milk video. Bye, guys! Bye-bye!